No Time to Lose, A Life in Pursuit of Deadly Viruses, is an autobiography written by Peter Pyatt, a Belgian microbiologist, and a key figure in the global response to HIV, AIDS, Ebola, and other infectious diseases. The book provides an insightful account of Pyatt's personal and professional journey, his experiences in the field of epidemiology, and his contributions to the fight against deadly viruses. The book begins with Pyatt's childhood in Belgium and his early fascination with science. It then follows his education and training as a microbiologist, his work in the field of epidemiology, and his eventual appointment as the founding executive director of UNAIDS. Throughout the book, Pyatt highlights the challenges he faced while working in the field, including dealing with complex political environments, working in resource-constrained settings, and combating cultural taboos and stigma surrounding disease. One of the central themes of the book is Pyatt's commitment to social justice and his belief that everyone, regardless of their background or social status, deserves access to healthcare. He recounts his experiences working with marginalized communities affected by HIV, AIDS in Africa, Asia, and South America, and his efforts to address the structural and systemic barriers that prevent people from accessing treatment and care. Pyatt's unwavering dedication to the cause is inspiring, and his story serves as a testament to the power of collective action in global solidarity. Another theme that runs throughout the book is the importance of scientific innovation and collaboration in the fight against infectious diseases. Pyatt emphasizes the need for researchers, public health officials, and policymakers to work together to develop effective prevention and treatment strategies. He also highlights the role of technology and data in advancing the field of epidemiology and improving our understanding of disease transmission and control. Pyatt's storytelling is compelling and engaging, and he manages to strike a balance between personal anecdotes and scientific insights. His vivid descriptions of the people and places he encountered in his work helped to bring his experiences to life and make the book accessible to a wide audience. The book also provides a candid account of the challenges and controversies that Pyatt faced throughout his career. He discusses the criticism he received from some quarters for his work on HIV, AIDS, and the difficulties he encountered while trying to get the virus recognized as a global health threat. He also addresses the ethical dilemmas surrounding the use of experimental drugs and vaccines during outbreaks, and the need to balance the urgency of the situation with the potential risks to human subjects. Overall, No Time to Lose is a powerful testament to the importance of global health and the need for collective action to combat infectious diseases. Pyatt's personal and professional journey is both inspiring and informative, and his insights into the world of epidemiology and public health are invaluable. The book is a must-read for anyone interested in the history of infectious diseases, the challenges facing global health today, and the role of science and innovation in addressing these challenges.